Day one is the day we welcome you to Vanderbilt. We start with move-in, which is one of my most favorite parts of orientation. All students get moved in in about five hours, and you're welcomed by upper division students and faculty heads. I'll be there, the provost and the chancellor are there. It's your first opportunity to say hello. Also on the first day of orientation, we have floor meetings with your RA, and that's one of the chances you have to meet one of your first communities at Vanderbilt, which is your floor. And then finally, for parents and families, we have an orientation just for you. It's an opportunity for parents and families to learn more about all the resources we have on campus for your students academically and socially, uh, so that you really know that this is a place where your students can thrive. Day two is when we really think about the norms of our community. You'll begin by meeting your visions group, which is our extended orientation program that all students are part of. You'll meet the 16 to 18 students who are part of your visions group, along with the faculty member and the upper division student who help lead visions. It's also the day when you think about and learn about the house community that you have through an activity that we call Community Creed. And it's a chance to think with the people in your house, how do we want to live together? What does it mean to be in a good community together? And then finally on day two of orientation is Founders Walk. And Founders Walk is the way the university formally welcomes you to our community. The provost will speak, the chancellor will speak, and you'll have an opportunity to hear about the vision that we have for your time here at Vanderbilt. Day three of orientation is academic orientation. You'll start the day meeting with the deans and academic advisors in your undergraduate college. It's also a time when you have the opportunity to think about your academic commitments to the university through the community commitment ceremony. And then finally on day three is one of my favorite events. It's called Profs in the House. Each house that you're living in, each of the 10 houses, will have a faculty member from all of the undergraduate colleges meet with students in the house. So if you're an undergraduate student coming into Blair, there will be a faculty member from Blair who comes to your house to meet with all the Blair students in the house. And it's your chance to ask any and all questions that you have. You've got the experts there to help you think about what is my first day of classes really gonna be like? Day four of orientation is for learning about academic resources. We begin with the class photo, which you've maybe seen before. It's iconic for Vanderbilt. All of the class of 2026 will actually arrange themselves into the numbers 2026 and will take a picture from above. After that, you have another visions meeting, which is your chance to learn about what campus resources we have to help you. We call it True Life, and it's one of the best parts of visions. It helps you learn about the campus, it helps you learn about each other, and it helps you prepare for what the first year experience really could offer. After classes begin, orientation isn't quite over. There's still some opportunities to learn about what it means to be safe and responsible in our community through modules about alcohol awareness and sexual violence. But we cap orientation with a welcome celebration for the class of 2026. It's an opportunity to connect with all 1,600 of the first year students, do a little dancing, do a little craft, have an opportunity to have some great local Nashville snacks, and celebrate the fact that you're finally here.